Welcome back to another FX tutorial. So let's get straight to the point. I will be showing you guys three different ways to convert CR2 files. Alright, so our first method involves Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and select all the CR2 files I have within this folder of mine and import them into Photoshop. After they load it up, I click within the film strip tab on the left and hit Ctrl A to select all the pictures. Next part is to click the save images button on the bottom. For the destination, I chose a random folder I had on my desktop to save them. Continue to the format tab and choose JPEG. I'm going to set the maximum quality to 12 and then hit save. Depending on how fast your computer is, the conversion process shouldn't take too long. After everything is finished, just simply go to the folder you saved the pictures in. Alright, so it looks like everything converted perfectly. So moving on. If you guys don't have Photoshop, there is a neat website you guys can use to convert CR2 files online. A warning though, if you guys want to convert more than one CR2 file, it is not free. It is free if you guys just need to convert one, that's where they get you. Upon loading the site, click go to app. Then select open files from computer and choose your CR2 file. On the left side of the screen, choose save selected. I will be converting it to JPEG and set the quality to the maximum variable. I'm gonna hit save and check it out. As you can tell, it does a decent job converting the photo file. Here's a quick viewing of what you'll run into if you decide to convert more than one file. So last trick for this video. I found this great application called Earth and View. I'll leave all the links in the description by the way. So depending on what computer you have, you'll be downloading the 32 or 64 bit files. I have a 64 bit computer, so I'll be downloading the 64 bit version of the executable file and the Earth and View all plugins file. You'll be needing all plugins and I'll show you guys why in a bit. So let's install the app. I'm going to unclick the bottom two boxes and just create a shortcut on my desktop. Click next and click next again. So this page basically gives you the option of letting Earth and View open up certain photo files using Earth and View itself. I'm not going to do this so just click on none then next. Make sure users application is selected then click next. Unclick the first checkbox and then click done to open the program. Let's try opening up a CR2 file now. Change the files of type to Canon CRW format. Hit open and bam, you'll get this error message. Close Earth and View and let's go back to our downloads and open up the plugin file. Click next and it should be installed right away. Open up Earth and View again and try opening a CR2 file and it should work now. Let's try converting multiple CR2 files. Go to file and choose batch conversion slash rename. Change the output format to JPEG, files a type to Canon CRW format, and choose all images you want converted. Hit add all and then press start batch. Like I said before, the speed of conversion depends on your computer. So looking over at the output directory, we saved it to C slash temp. I'll show you guys where this default location will be. Go click on File Explorer, this PC, Windows C, and then you'll see this folder named Temp in capital letters. So everything we just converted looks great, and now we don't have to deal with those CR2 files anymore. Hopefully one of these methods work for you guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. Happy editing. Hey guys, welcome back to another FX tutorial. Today we'll be recreating our... Uh. <laughs>